Good day everyone. So I've been making a lot of these bronze shark teeth lately and I'm going to show you the quickest and easiest way that I've found so far to make one. I use these resin copies. They're exceptionally well detailed, cheap and durable. I lightly put some powder on there, put it flat on the table. Now you want a nice even coat over the surface of the tooth to capture all the detail. So I use a flour sifter to sift out the sand. Once it's covered, you can put the sand on a little more quickly and make sure it's packed down good and hard. So the tooth ends up looking like that and you can see right at the tip, it's not quite embedded. So I want to fix that. So I take a small block of wood and a hammer. So now that tooth is seated nice and tight to the sand. Then I take a regular old spoon, don't tell my wife. And I scrape and taper the sand down right to the sharp edge of the tooth. And you can see right down to the serration of the teeth. That makes a great parting line. I add my parting powder, which is just hydrated lime. And I add the top of the flask, or cope as it's called. Now personally, I like to use clips like this to keep it seated together. If you're doing a bigger tooth or multiple teeth, Think of hydraulic pressure. As you're putting metal in, that's a lot of surface area to lift this up. You need to put a weight on top or make sure it's clipped tight so your metal doesn't run out all over the floor. It's happened. To do the back side, you do the exact same method. To carve the gating and channels, I just take a piece of scrap copper pipe and use that. For these teeth, you can get by with a pretty small channel. It really doesn't take much. Some people will take a welding rod and they'll make a small vent at the tip of the tooth, but I find it's not even necessary. If you have a good alloy, it'll get to the tip of the tooth. At the other corner of the tooth root, I make another smaller vent. Then I take my spoon and where I have the channel carved for the metal to go in, I use it to just lever the tooth up so it's loose. After it's loose, I can take it and dump it right out. I'll use my spoon to make a little bit of a funnel and put everything back together again. And now it's time to melt the metal of your choice and pour it in. Now these normally just break right off. I use my wire wheel to clean it up and so it turned out good. There's a little bit of flashing. For that, I just hit it with a grinder or a file. And once that's filed down, there's kind of a spot that doesn't match, so I'll literally take a rock and retexture it to the rock. There we go, brand new shark tooth. You want it to look like this, you patina it, but I'm just showing you how to make it. If you have a better idea, let me know in the comments. Stay safe, good luck casting.